Welcome back, 839. Money, money, money. TMZ's Harvey Levin is in L.A. with his two cents and joins us this morning. Good morning, Harvey. Good to see you. Hey, Lauren. Okay, so we're talking about Hillary Clinton. She criticized some of the Republican candidates for their suggestions on who or which woman should be on the new $10 bill. I guess there's been a lot of talk about who they think. And a lot of them said that they just they didn't really, couldn't even think of one. And she had lots of suggestions. <laughs> Well, she didn't. <laughs> I mean, that's the problem, is you're right that when our camera guy got her out, she was going after the Republicans saying right. that they, she was shocked that they didn't have any good suggestions. You know, truth be told, there were some really stupid ones, like, you know, Margaret Thatcher and Mother Teresa, none of, neither of whom are American. You know, a couple of them did say Rosa Parks. But Hillary Clinton said, look, they didn't have good ideas. I've got a ton of them. So our camera guy, who's really good, uh -huh. Colin, I mean, ask the obvious question, which is, okay, who, who are they? <laughs> she wouldn't say. Oh, really? She completely yeah. deflected it. And I got to tell you, oh. I mean, this is a nonpartisan thing. I swear to you it's nonpartisan. But to me, this is like a microcosm of why Donald Trump is doing so well. Because I don't believe Donald Trump's doing well because of his views at all. I think Donald Trump's doing well because people are sick of the BS of politics where nobody takes a stand. Right. And I think what's going on is that they're all so conditioned that if Hillary Clinton says Rosa Parks, the people who like Harriet Tubman are going to be pissed off. And the people, if she says Harriet Tubman, the Rosa Parks people are going to be pissed right. off. So she says nobody. And I think people are kind of sick of that. But I was, at, I was shocked because Hillary opened the door. And it was so obvious, and she's so smart that she had to know that when she opened that door, somebody was going to say, well, who do you want? Because she even said, I got a lot of people, but, but she wouldn't say. Wouldn't say who just because she doesn't want to anger anyone, which is kind of going against the whole I, thing. I mean, I don't, know, I don't know why, but that's, why, that's the only thing I can think of. Yeah, you know, it's interesting because they've really tried to make her, and I'm curious if you're camera guys or if you've noticed this, because lately they've tried to make her seem more approachable and more media friendly. Have you noticed that at all when, when, when your guys have seen her out and about? Yes, she actually, during this con uh, the conversation, she, um, she made a joke about Oprah and laughed. I mean, a big, big cackle. Oh. And she seemed, and she also was, you know, very nice to our guy and was friendly with him and took the time to talk to him. It just didn't pay off. Right, yeah. Yeah. All right, let's talk about Kylie Jenner because I saw this story come up on TMZ this morning. And I, 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 basically, the headline was $5,000 spent on Chinese takeout. And I went, what? <laughs> Well, okay, I have to explain. In L.A., there's Chinese takeout, and then there is Chinese takeout. Ah. There's a place called Philippe Chow, which is a hugely expensive, fancy, popular restaurant. And she, it's, it's 45 minutes from her home. She had a private chef come to her home from Philippe Chow um, and fed five to ten people, catered meal, fried rice, shrimp satay, this and that, $5,000. Now... She could have been doing it just because she wanted to have a lazy Sunday, or she could have been having an Emmy party. We don't know which. Ah. But either way, she's 18 years old, and no. she's spending 5000 bucks on a catered dinner from Philippe Chow. And she's got this whole big house that's all hers and making money left and right. It is crazy. Thank, yep. you, thank you so much, Harvey. We appreciate it. Okay, Lauren. You can see TMZ weeknights, 11 p.m., weekdays, 3 p.m. here on Fox 4. You can also find a link to the show's website on our website, fox4news.com. It is 843.